Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. How are all my adventurers doing? Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good. I am ready to start doing this dungeon and see what's all different. Okay, so they don't have the blessings in here. Noted. But then again, I think... Nah, never mind. That didn't make a sound effects. None of this make it sound like, what the hell? I don't think I lowered it that much, right? So it does the same thing that original Graphantasia does. Like if you turn it down to a certain degree, turn it down to a certain degree, the next time you launch the game, the audio is like, the audio just lights go completely down. So that's still something that happens. I can hide this for now. I had a lot of these for now. What is this? I don't remember what that is. Unless that's something new. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, drop some. All right. Should it be a lot of XP from this? Oh yeah, big chunks of XP. That's how we're done with this dungeon. Is <laughs> we're gonna definitely out level it. Okay, so what we need to do is. Keep our crafting and collecting healthy. That is the main thing we have to do. So I have to manually collect things right now. And... Are we near the golden... Not golden, yellow staffs yet? No, we are not. So let's do this. I am more into the hammers since I'll be going wolf form. Any good sets? There is a level 20 set, which... What does it do? Ah, uh, increases... Oh, So it'd be... It'll go on 10 second cooldown if I had this. That isn't half bad, to be honest. That really isn't half bad. I could do that. That is what we're going to do. Okay, what other pieces am I missing? Foraging the shells. Okay, so. We'll forge all the shells. Come on. I need to make sure to pick up all this stuff. Can I see what they have? Okay, no, you still can't see anything they have. Ah, you failed, you failure. Of course. Of course you would fail me. Um, let's see. So what can I do here? Eat a Snickers. Um, let's see. 
So I guess we would... I was going to say we could mass collect, but I'm going to save that for... For more of a late game situation. Grab this. Break the slacks later. We're still going to need more of those. I will say this. So far, it is more reasonable. This game is a lot more... Well, my main pet peeve has always been sprites. The way the sprites act, the way they, they uh, influence the game. Leveling, not, not so much. It's mostly been the way sprites are treated. Like, sprites should actually be fast. They shouldn't, you know, be a chore to bring up. I always hated that thought. So they, they fixed a lot of my immediate peeves with um, sprites. Like, sprites are too slow. They're too slow at leveling to give you your gear. They're too slow at crafting. There's, like, there's so many things. Well, and the crafting part isn't all that bad, to be honest. Like, waiting and gathering just for, like, 10 points. Or just, like, 9 or 7 points and just waiting for an event to give me, like, 40 points. Like, it's always been annoying. But I don't know how far, you know, how far they're, they've, um, how do I put it? How far they've, uh, gotten into late game Sprite. And when I say that, it's kind of like, I want to see how far it takes until the Sprites actually start to slow down with their leveling. Or does it, like, increase percentage-wise? If it increases percentage-wise, that's freaking fantastic. Yeah, this gear is getting to level 30, right? Damn, there's no point in making this. Now that I think about it. Unless I wanted the, you know, the normal buff to uh, carry over. But I'm curious, and I kind of want to see it. If, um... What is it? Let me just open these. Because I can immediately just start crafting. I want to see if it goes into orange category inside of the archive. God, hiccups. Jesus, my soul. Let's make that just to see. I've seen that they have a lot more different functions in the game. Like I've seen an NPC with like, for some reason they have like league icons for like the league uh, passives and shit. I was just there like, okay. And I read it. It was just like, this is for. What the hell is that? This is for like capes. I was there like capes.
I don't think I should be focusing on um hammer. Wait, hammer, okay. Because dual wielding is very good for wolf form. Well, it is if you're actually, nah. I was about to say, level 100 gear is what made wolf form good. It's a good thing I did chill, chose Silver Sprite because none of these have <laughs> have hunting. None of these have hunting. Silver Leaf Sprite's still the best. Yeah, I I still think that the healing from the rework of uh, Druid is a lot better right now. Hmm. I just don't like the buff duration that the new Druid has. Well, the rework Druid has. It doesn't help that I'm actually used to that now. <laughs> used to the rework Druid. So I can kind of get back used to the old druid. Okay, so this is giving us more stuff. Damn, it stops at level 30. That's kind of what I expected. Oh, we can use these. That's that's something. Okay, so no. Bosses are not affected by, you know, stuns and stuff like that. Which is kind of funny because they don't tell you that. Like the official version does. It makes sense because this would definitely be OP to a boss. Just using the ability and stunning it <laughs> right afterwards. Never been a problem with me and Druid, though.
up some mining. But the thing is, with this not pushing him back, I can just cycle between my skills. There we go. We got to leave the dungeon early to go do our job change. But then again, we'll come back and we'll definitely have. But then again, we'll come back and we'll definitely have pretty much most of our skills that will make it a lot faster. We won't have wolf form until like a while in, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we start out with bird form. Yeah, 34, that's what I was remembering. I should be fine here. I want to target him since he'll be closer because of the wall. I didn't pay attention to uh, how far this is going. Okay, we're at 28 right now. Okay. Okay, now I can go out for him. I'm going to be on this side so I can push him against the wall. Less travel time. There we go, 27. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize it got six slots on it. <laughs> Oh god, I can't see. I can't attack it because it is. Why? Oh god damn it. Literal gravitation. Come here. Fucking wall border. It's line of sight. The wall border is kind of out there. Because I remember running into that into the official server.
Line of sight is a huge thing. I say you could be barely behind the wall and you still can't click that person. There used to be certain parts in like PvP maps to where you can lock onto a person. You would have to, well, you can like click on a person, you have to tab. Most of the time, tab didn't work because of line of sight. It's kind of one of those iffy things, you know. Am I out of uh, potions right now? Yes, I am. Oh, no, man. Like... I prefer a percentage than a uh, flat, but that's fine. You can't have everything. Kind of crazy I'm taking this much damage with a uh, legacy gear, but then again, the legacy gear isn't, you know, enhanced. Yeah, my quartz. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. These. Need you to get those. We're gonna get everybody to collect that because I'm not sure if they'll even reach the rate, so just checking it. back to my standard tactic. Inventory is a mess, but I will fix it later for anybody who is very OCD. <laughs> Do not worry about it. I know you're losing your mind. I would be too. <laughs> So, huh. So does the game have reincarnation? That does make me curious.
one if I can cast this without getting interrupted. Yep. That was crazy. All these private servers are very interesting because I've I've played private servers before and I gotta say, there's a lot of talent developers inside of those private servers because if I remember correctly, I played Dragon Nest private server. And the funny thing about the Dragon Nest private server is that they even reworked like a lot of the abilities to look different. And they've also, you know, made like new classes, like actual working new classes. I've always been curious. I've always been sitting here like, damn, dude, like you guys actually put in all that effort for the private server. <laughs> they should be hiring you guys. But then again, there's nothing you can do against their marketing team. <laughs> you can change the game, but you know, add new characters and everything, but you're, you're still defenseless towards the marketing team. Who would just think about money instead of like actual fun gameplay to bring in people who would, you know, casually spend money versus just aggressively spending money. I can't put on that staff again, can I? At least until I get my druid form, I should be using staff. My mission would be to get a lot of defense for um, Phoenix Hour. I'm sure I can do that with the with the actual like crafting system that they have. And the fact that I don't have to go out and just completely farm my damn um excuse me. Completely farm my damn sprites. When it's gonna be easier access. Oh wait, oh yeah, we've got to turn in quests. Alright, almost level 28. I think once we turn this in, we should be. But I'm, I'm gonna be very curious to see... Um... How this game... Well, how each server, like, you know, interprets their own version of Grand Fantasia for sure. But they just added in like a whole bunch of new stuff that is, you know, friendlier to players that they just, you know, made it more hardcore, stuff like that. Oh god, I'm not going to be looking forward to this. But let me walk back in and walk back out so I can buy my uh, skills because this version of Grand Fantasia still has the bug to where you are pretty much perma locked in combat. And that's inside of Parry Cave. Parry Cave has always had that random perma lock in combat situation. All right, there we go. Now we got more damage.
Okay, so that's an issue. <laughs> you cannot stack the wand debuff and this debuff. As soon as I throw it out there, oh, it, replace, it replaces it, but he, he dies too fast. <laughs> Huh? You were interrupted on the fi Oh, no, you, you have misfortune. That's why. Where the hell did you come from? Ah, oh, this one is that patrol one that runs through there. I still do kind of know the strengths of uh, Druid, though. What it can and can't do. I'm used to Priest. The Priest class. Oh, Miss Portion. Ah, yeah, I was kind of hoping it would disappear by the time that came up. Okay, each potion has their separate use and not just universal. Nice. That's good to see. Seems like the potions are still the same cooldown. So you can't just spam the ever li living shit out of it. Start getting rid of these. Have these been skilled higher? Oh, they're improved. Okay, so they made improved universal, so you don't have to be reincarnated to use them. Okay, one more level. I'm looking forward to finding Rubris. He's normally like really annoying. He's the worst one inside of this dungeon to actually fight. Guy's okay, giving less XP right now, which is fine. Everybody a little bit of a pep talk. Um, the thing that we need to do is start getting ready for the next stage of my gear, which is level 31. That's what we need to start doing, getting ready for that. I say the reason for that is because we're about to get out of our uh, legacy gear range. So. My question is, did they create new gear? Because it seemed like they created new gear with the whole crafting thing. But it doesn't seem like you can put that gear inside of yellow. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. Is like unique gear that you can craft, but you cannot put inside of the archive. Also, the archive, uh, does it have the bonuses? Yes, it does. Uh, but it doesn't have like anything really in there the only thing that's 
count it in there as mounts. Well, no, move it speed. Huh. Huh. Okay. So they got rid of all the other buffs and then we gave speed. I swear to God, this is a paradise for um, rangers. <laughs> if they uh, kept the whole can't attack within range thing. You just made this game a complete paradise for rangers. How did you all feel? Cease this behavior. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. I was about to say, is he bugged since I did that? That just launches soul out of his body. level 30. You're halfway there. I'd say one of these is for Druid. Too bad they're kind of... I didn't even count it, they're pretty weak for me. Let's do that instead. Okay, so three more bars. Come on, attack. I was about to say, Jesus. Hammer swing time. Oh, no, it's not even hammer. It's just... It's <laughs> but we're thinking hammer swing time is freaking the staff. I think, yeah, Druid always has, like, a long melee time. I thought I hit something. Apparently, I did not. Okay. All right, two more. Then we shall teleport out and go do that. Oh, 
I just realized we got um, condemned mines. Ah, I goofed. I'll say I thought I had a certain spell. I did not. There we go. Cease this behavior. All right. So this shouldn't take long. Let me sell a lot of this crap. Oh, wait, not that. Oh, I should keep that. What am I doing? Dismantling things, you gotta keep that. These I wanna get rid of. Hey, how you doing? Oh, well, damn. We didn't have to do, like, an actual, like, go kill quest. That's nice. For a unique weapon. Oh, then you get sage gear. Okay. That is not half bad of a way to do this. That is actually very nice for players who, you know, don't really need the set bonuses and stuff. Okay, we can archive this. Alright, that's all in there. What is this stuff? Oh, they have selectors? Okay. Nice. Very nice. Because I want to level fast, I'm going to keep on with the legacy gear. That's actually really nice. They give you free legacy gear. Ah, uh, yeah, here comes the terrible layout again. But Druid has always been, like, very strong against, uh... Magic-based enemies. Even though half of the game is physical. <laughs> yep, half of the game is physical. Haha. <laughs> sucks, sucks to hear that, but, you know, I... Hey, I'm just telling you now, half of the game is physical. To any players who, you know, didn't know that. Surprised! <laughs> uh, we're probably going to get Davil in this one. Oh, you can get select three of them. Oh, that's nice. That is a great quality. 
Woodlands, let's go with... Oh, uh, yeah, this is that stupid thing. I'm going to have to do a lot of... Uh... I forgot about this. If I would have known about or remember this, I would have started in uh, Kazlau. But then again, Magic Academy has this too. So what I need to avoid is anything I cannot, you know, directly use. It's kind of funny that they gave us all these and half of them we cannot use. Uh, so we'll grab this. No, we'll grab that too. I just never taken is not that bad, but that's for like more of the late game area. We are going to be using staffs a lot. Oh wait, are they giving us all of them? They're giving us all of them. Oh, okay then. The fuck? <laughs> wait, how's how's my bag not? My bag has. Bro, that is enough slots. What do you mean? Oh, are you talking about this? Is you're trying to put them here? I see. Uh, we could throw these out because we have no more use for those. Uh, let me go sell somewhere. Which normally there's a seller down here. I like how. It doesn't close windows by opening up other NPCs, which is great. You need more space. Um, we can sell this. We can sell that. There we go. A lot of that we cannot use and won't be able to use for a while. Okay, so a lot of this is going to go inside of my bank. we're going to have to bring up a lot of reputation to be able to use that. Uh, unique weapon. The... I'm curious now. What do we use the unique weapon? I'm guessing I would go back to Kazlau, right? Is it memory shop? Yeah, it is memory shop. Um, oh, you could just straight up get these. Huh. That's actually pretty neat. Not gonna lie to you, that's actually really neat. I would never take this one. That one's like not useful for me. The stun is very much useful. The question is, can you equip two uniques at the same time when it comes to this game? That is the biggest question. Um, okay. I, I also gotta bring this, this up. Druid has always been cucked to by gears like this because Druid can't use shields. 
So it ends up being us sharing random equipment with classes that like <laughs> with classes like um Archangel. So we never really had like really good like really, really good relics. Cause Archangel always like overstepped us. I was about to say, what is that word? It's freaking per action. I was about to say. Per action? The fuck? <laughs> what is that? So you can only get. Well, actually, you can get the other ones too, right? Yeah, if you're like planning to just gun ho it to something else. Okay, yeah, this is what I saw. The little. Build unique sets, unique sets. That's what this is. Uh, level 50 weapon. I guess we would, would grab this. I'm not gonna grab another one until I can actually confirm that you can't just, you know, full on stack them. It gives the this gives the game a lot of replayability. Making a new character and replaying again for more of these tickets and filling out your collection. That gives a lot of replayability there. Oh, that's interesting. You have a chance to immediately regain all your HP and off of one percent. That's not too bad. I thought there was another hammer here, but I think that's the only one. So I guess that would be fine to pick up so I'm gonna have these placed in the archive for when I'm ready to actually be able to use them the dungeons probably reset by now Have they changed this? No, nah, it's still the same. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the what in the words? Ah, shit! That's what I forgot. That's what I was forgetting. <laughs> My skills. Darn it. Ah. Tree, tree OP. Honestly, so far you can do it the good old fashioned way of just, you know, just completely dungeon rushing the game. You can do it that way. You also don't have to use legacy gear. Let me just make that known. You don't have to use legacy gear. I say using set gear is more reliable. Because you gotta remember, set gear doesn't have like anything like truly amazing towards like your skills. It's sometimes better to use set gear. So, what does this have? Interruption chance, cast time reduction. Okay.
Let's keep bringing this up. Let's keep bringing uh, yours up as well. So my question is, how do you get loyalty points? Is there even a way to get loyalty points? Or is it just a PvP thing? Please don't make me PvP. I've been trying to avoid those dark days. Oh god. Wait a minute. I could never find this NPC when it came to like um, the official server. I know it's over here. I just could never find him. Does he even actually like exist? Because you can't teleport to him. I don't know. I don't know. I always like abandon this quest because I could never find him. I actually don't even know what that quest is. Okay, so reincarnation is not a thing. Plus, well, because level 100 isn't a thing yet. That's mainly what it is. Level 90 is the max. Yeah, I was here for skills. That's what I was here for. Ah, there it is. Nature's Wrath. The most OP broken skill. Back then, before the jury work, the most OP broken skill in the game. <laughs> when it came to, like, farming. I didn't even see this gear. Gear's like a little icon. <laughs> the little flat shape of it. I didn't even realize that until I looked at that. Interesting. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is have you dismantle some stuff. Well actually, first let's put on some I was going to say put on some gears. Because we still got to craft our level 30 hammers. Oh yeah, we can put that on now. So a little bit of better stats. Well, not even a little bit, it's way better. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hope you're paying attention to everything yet. Oh, no. Am I? No. Rubus is dead, right? Oh, no. No, he's not. I was heading that way, then I leveled. I need to put on my skills. Get a bird form. Ah, so I don't have that implemented thing to where you, if you change to druid, it will change forms. It will change like to a tab temporarily. 
Okay, so I got to go back to the classic, making a whole slot for a class. Noted, noted, noted. Wait, was that not AoE? Huh. Oh, is that new Druid's uh, abilities AoE? Ah, that's not this ability. <laughs> This works. Because this is what I used to do. I used to go through this, then we do this, then go to this, and this. <laughs> Good old OP Druid. They took that away from us and made Nature's Wrath a single target. I guess because they knew how strong it was. Ah, freaking misfortune. Interesting, they didn't give us a new relic or anything. Just to like work towards again, like a sage relic. There we go. Now we gotta go fight Greed.
Okay. Animations are still kind of iffy. Wouldn't expect that to change. Like, sometimes you can spam Drew's ability, sometimes you can't. It's kind of like they kind of over cue each other most of the time. Like the official version, it's kind of over cues. Just as much as you can petrify me, I can petrify you, apparently. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. I should, I should start uh, scavenging sooner or later. I didn't lock my uh, taskbar. Anything else that is lower right now? Probably hunting, right? Technically, would it be hunting? Oh. Yeah, hunting. Hunting's lower right now. My goal is just to touch world form. That's all I want. Funny enough, I didn't even know I had Discord open. Ah, still the sad thing. You can't use other abilities in Druid form. One side of other forms. Okay, debuffs don't flash on enemies for when they're about to cleanse. Isn't that still the same same thing as uh official? I think this is the first time I'm paying attention to it, honestly. Oh yeah, you don't need keys anymore, do you? I think you can just walk in.
instead of having to go collect the damn key. Ah, yep. You just walk right in. You came back just in time, buddy. So it's no longer you have to beat the boss. You just have to... Okay, so that still doesn't affect it. Affect bosses. Keep him from constantly just getting that hit. I gotta keep moving. Like it's fine if he gets one hit now and then, but I can't let him keep getting hits like that, like that, because then he'll go through a cycle. They made a uh, helper sprite a lot better. with the whole individual potion usage. I just need to pay attention to uh, how many potions I still have. God, the animation takes long. Like, look, I'm, I'm moving my mouse. I'm gonna still move my mouse while I'm doing this. I can't can't move for that long. <laughs> Welcome to Grand Fantasia's uh, animation system. But then again, I shouldn't expect anything less because it isn't an action game. I think I've been spoiled by action games. I think that's what it is, honestly. But the thing is, even games that have traditional, you know, methods. Still don't keep it locked in like many animations like that. Yeah, because if I face check like this. He's going to attack more often, but I do have evasion, so maybe evasion is going to help me out here a little bit more. Not against that, but still. That is not something I like to see. Not when you start casting shit, you know, it was all fun and games until you started casting shit. You can't see his moves or anything. I'm used to uh, official server having that. So it does go to show you that the official version has some really good things versus the private server too. So if you like that little bit of extra information on bosses or drops, while you're in game and don't have to like look at any other page, or a drop sheet. Then the official would be for you. It's almost there. I totally forgot he has freeze. So it looks like I'm losing a lot of HP, but I'm actually not. He's freezing my HP. It's 
try it. We're almost out of these. Wait, hold up. Uh, we had these. Yeah, there we go. I've seen these potions are a lot faster. From what I see. I don't know what their official cooldown is. We don't get that detail. Ooh, I just got a message. Okay, that's everything. Hey, buddy. So I gotta go find him. Shouldn't worry about enemies uh, hitting me because I I'm pretty much safe because I have have this ability. So I don't mind running into a group of enemies and just you know mowing them down. That's the incredible thing about um Druid and the old Nature's Wrath, which was the best Nature's Wrath. Okay, the new Nature Wrath I don't fuck with. Disgusting. Get it out of here. Old Nature Wrath was perfect. Made Druid like an actual like dungeon clearing force. As long as you had like good uh, cast speed, that is. If you had good cast speed, you, you could just basically destroy an entire dungeon without even worrying about it. I was about to say, Phoenix Tower didn't stand a fucking chance <laughs> against Druid and Old Nature's, <laughs> Nature's Wrath. But now, uh, yeah, Nature Wrath doesn't do, doesn't do shit. <laughs> like, if you guys missed the old Druid days, man, you guys, you guys are unfortunately out of luck with that. You don't actually have to fight those, you can just walk right past them, honestly. I say that they don't force you to fight him. Let's get the certificate. Uh, you're slightly out of range. Let's see. But we don't need this hammer anymore. Can we put it in there? No. This too? Okay, fair enough. There we go. Are the titles better, at least? No, they're still the same. <laughs> also, has, also has 5%. Yeah, you wouldn't even want to use that, honestly.
All right, that has been that dungeon. Took a lot longer than it normally does, but then again, that's that's basically to start off. And do I get to uh, level thirty-four and get my wolf form? It's gonna it's gonna stay like that for quite a while. How do I grab this? I say it, but then again, I can literally go do this right now. <laughs> so completing dungeons doesn't give you like any uh, any rewards. Oh, I didn't turn this on. We're going to be coming back here anyway. Oh, a different quest. This is it. And this is inside the dungeon, right? Yep. So now I gotta go back to jail. No. Actually, yeah, Steam Mine. Go to this board. And we save our soul here. Yeah, we continue on the weapon. Wait, that's new. I would never remember seeing this. That is definitely new. Oh, you bastard, you failed it. Uh, I gotta make it that one. Okay, since he failed that, I gotta go and craft a whole bunch of more of these. I was kind of looking forward to trying that. That one actually looked pretty interesting. Oh, that's something I didn't do. Fuck. Put this in here and see if it actually archives it. Okay, no. That, is, that still can't be added. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Go grab those. Um, make sure to grab the quest.
Oh yeah, I didn't even need to make another hammer. I just made it. Oh, hiccups. Excuse me. Damn, nothing? Okay, no, we still got to do the boss. Realize the true power of Druid. You really just got to know how much defense and how much you can tank with Druid. That's that's pretty much all it is. Druid is really good for fast clearing. We mostly do our hill spam. Then stun. Just so we don't wake any of them up just to take zero damage or zero chances of being stunned. But we don't have that unlocked to us just yet. I believe that is like level... Oh, yeah, we can actually get it now. Yeah, we just we normally use nature's breath just so we don't wake up anything. And we don't have to retarget anything either when it dies. <laughs> like I said, welcome to Old Druid. Old Druid was fucking amazing. Old Druid was freaking godlike. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this, the quest for a sprite, Sprite Awakening. Just so my sprite can actually, like, you know, pick up certain things. Hey, hey you, hey. Put, put a bitch in and have a Snickers, okay? So, what I'm going to do is teleport to a skill trainer sell a bunch of shit too yeah we get our first uh, ability but this one kind of sucked because it only healed us if we were sitting down 
well, restored Iron Man if we're sitting down. You can't sit down in the middle of combat, so it was useless for teammates. Like, completely useless for teammates. I said, okay, we got to start selling some of these. Because it is clogging up our inventory a little bit too much. Terrible. We shall sell those. Why don't I keep pushing that like I'm going to sell it there? <laughs> okay. So we, we go again. Surely I will get enough for that. Surely, right? Pally, okay. So curious about this. I don't know about that one. So we also go to this dude and do his mission. Okay, so far from what I've seen, they reworked the sprite system. They've reworked, um, where do I go? Oh, yeah, here it is. I was right about uh, ish. Fuck off, mate. How are you still alive? So now I'll talk to you and give me sprite combat. Now I can turn off grabbing gray items. Okay, so now I can put this on. If this was our main bread and butter combo. If we needed a fast, like, hit, we would use uh, Shining Judgment. Uh, we barely used Earth Grasp. We didn't really use Puppet Dance because, like I said, Puppet Dance 
is iffy. It won't give you any XP. So let's see. Uh... How much XP would that give me? Well, that wouldn't give me any XP right now. That I know of. Puppet dance, is, puppet dance has always been pretty iffy. I think that's why they replaced it with something completely different, to be honest. Well, the fish server, why I'm saying that. All right, buddy. We go again. Try it again. Damn, I should have went to go get skills after, like, one more level but it shouldn't be too much of an issue okay you made it nice did you get a lot of xp for that probably not now the moment of truth can you hold two of the same qualities did they change that or is it still the same Oh, I can't even use this because this is for a paladin's. Well, damn, that sucks. I was going to say, can I put it in there? Nah, you can't collect it. I wasn't even reading that part. I was chaser. Oh, see, this is what I mean, dude. This is exactly what I mean. We get... <laughs> Druids always get hoed because of the utter hammer classes. Like, literal fucking shield main, bro. <laughs> Alright. I guess we gotta use, uh... This instead. Even though that doesn't benefit us. To be honest. I guess the skill chance fail is decent, but... Everything else doesn't really benefit us, other than, um... Standard double damage. Hmm. Damn. So I'm running into the same predicament as um, the official server for Druid and their hand, their weapons. It's like a lot of their hammers aren't for druid they're not made for druid they're made for paladins or archangels huh. i guess i would just full full focus staff then i say just go back to that sequence into level 50 then i can use the uh, other hammer Suppress crit damage, yeah. That's not actually not half bad. We look at everything else though. Nah, that's better. That's what cast time, yeah, for magic damage. Since I'll mostly be spamming uh 
I was gonna go down the route down the ro wolf path. The roof? Where am I good? My wolf path, but um Yeah. Can't do that. It's more beneficial if we just stick with um Hello, do we? Okay, I'll just teleport to that. I'll say for some reason sign isn't up. But we're gonna stick with uh the nature rap abuse. <laughs> Good old dungeon nature rap abuse. Now, so you can mostly do this unless you, as long as you have like really good defense and HP. That was the main thing. Then we go through this cycle, heal, stun, heal, stun, heal, <laughs> stun, heal, stun. If we ever get uh, interrupted by like a stun and we need a and we don't have any power. Well, just trying to collect stuff. We would normally just immediately use judgment. Because it has a better chance of insta casting. And giving us just a little bit of time into like misfortune or a stun and go. Or a mobility or anything annoying. Hold on. I was going to do something. Oh, something to you. Because you're going to start picking up all of our stuff. I would recommend doing this in front of a boss. Wolf form in front of a... Like, for bosses is... Mostly recommended. Oh. Oh, he's from a distance. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I didn't even see him from all that over the way over there. You're only a week against casting men. Casting minions that don't want to, you know, follow you. But then again, I shouldn't have, you know, took off more than I could chew. And should have watched them casting and stayed over there. I can't pop these because I died. Well, dungeon rushing is still a thing. I think uh, the official version kind of made P leveling in dungeon a lot more useless. Because of the uh, questing XP. But then again, I think this has like pretty decent questing XP too. I want to see if I can grab this one without alerting anything. Okay, there we go. Stop that. Cast on makes this a lot better. Oops. Like I said, dude, I know my druid. <laughs> Droid is my character. I know it too well. Okay, so now we're gonna go grab Wolf Form and we'll be right back once again. <laughs> I'm 
upgrade a little bit of abilities. Ah, and we can upgrade that. Nice. I miss the old version of uh, Swift Nature. We don't need this anymore. We don't need that. Oh, why am I going there? Oh, wait, I could just do this. Swear to God, that's just memes. Yeah, so that doesn't give me any like XP, so this is better. Doesn't give me any sprite XP. Oh, uh, my devil, my not developer, my uh, artist is messaging me. Okay, so they need more time. Seven days. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Honestly, <laughs> they are trying to go all out with the with the last mustard girl, so I wouldn't even be surprised. Um, hey, you, go back into your section, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Can't just walk out of your section like that. So now I need to make... Alt 2. Wait, there was a way to... Shift 2? Yeah, Shift 3. That's what I was... That's what I was looking for. Put Wolfram in there, then I shift one. Put Wolfram in here just in case I need to take it off. Then, as Wolf, I want to put. Uh, ah. All we need is those two abilities. Wait. Does Render Fang not have life steal early? Oh yeah, it doesn't. I forgot about that. It gets it like way later on. Yeah, it gets it after like level 66. We go to Mystic. Oh, it was a Shaman. Now it's Mystic. Yeah, had a short cooldown now.
There we go. Just really need a better hammer for you, buddy. That's all I need. Because the hammers right now aren't hammering, dude. Right now the hammers aren't hammering. Is that Druid Cape? Okay, I'm about to say Druid Cape has the same design for the icon. No, oh, I didn't. Did not replace this also. I think. Let's make sure we have at least one stack. No, it's made my job. We have lots of fantasies to see. Ah, that's that's another thing. This this ability right here can actually end up being very annoying. There we go. Totally forgot about that ability. About that debuff. I don't remember how to take it off. It was a, yeah, it was a plague ability. It, it cancels all your healing abilities. I was like to say, there's another. When I was talking about it, there was another ability that really screwed with Druid a lot with our little combo we usually do, and you would take it off with a purified body. A lot more trash than I remember. And if I meet in the middle, And that stopped them from picking up a whole bunch of trash. Now, I gotta be careful inside of the skeleton areas and the mech areas because they actually have stuns. That's one issue.
I was, I was saying one month, but geez, maybe maybe two weeks per server. With how, how much I'll be playing these servers. I at least have one stack to wake up and hit afterwards. Yep, there it is. Because you can get severely stunned inside of this, so I don't really take too many enemies out of this. Out of this area. Because you can get stunned to complete death. It's basically like burning Kazal. You can, in that dungeon, you can definitely get pretty much stunned to death. Because all those enemies, once they reach a threshold of HP, gain their stun. So when they're healthy, they're not dangerous. But when you have HP them, they become instantly dangerous. Here's the thing, too. Ah, I was about to say. Depends on who you hit, to be honest. You can actually, like, continue the combo. Just don't hit anything that stuns. Okay, dude, you're actually becoming very annoying. You guys are stunning way too often. Literally what I talked about. That crap right there. <laughs> Yep, that's another one. Ooh, ah, oh, misfortune to have it. That's a plague. No, misfortune? Wait, misfortune isn't a plague? Good sworn it was. Oh no, it was a curse. That's what it that's what it is. I should be using curse killer. But even this takes a chance of getting. I should have used uh, Justice. Judgment. Just to get that going again. Up, oh, I got stunned again. Welcome to life, man. Welcome to life. Welcome to get stunned. This is why I said, man, group of enemies can stun the shit out of you. Plus, it also turns off your uh, your potions too. That's also something to remember. What time is it? Okay, we're at the two hour mark. I think every video is gonna be two hours. I think that's gonna be our goal. Is literally two hours. So we'll we'll redo this. Uh, the and the next day. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're leveling extremely fast, which is interesting to see. But I think it's mostly because of legacy gear, is what I feel. But then again, old Grand Fantasia was a lot easier to level when it came to dungeon, dungeon soloing. So long as you had the gear for dungeon soloing, you're pretty much golden. So anyhow. With that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.